And Americans are rallying behind President Trump's calls to repeal and replace Obamacare by sharing their own stories. One America's Kara McKinney has that report. With the fate of Obamacare uncertain in the courts, Americans are making their frustrations with the law known. Democrats rammed through their overhaul in 2010 without a single Republican vote by promising to expand every American's access to quality, affordable health care. But nearly a decade later, and a Hill and Harris X poll released on Thursday paints a much different picture. 46 percent of people polled reported skyrocketing premiums, 41 percent complained of higher copay fees, and 34 percent described having less access to medical care providers. In no category did more than 17 percent of respondents actually say they are now better off. But these concerns are nothing new and have been echoed by Americans for years since the law was passed. Some have even sat down with President Trump to discuss their situations. Thank you. Our rates are three times they were before Obamacare started. Uh, we have one provider in our county. We have very little options for what we can and cannot do. So we entered the under Obamacare, and we believe the sales pitch that if you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. Mm -hmm. So even though we're going to have to pay $1,300 a month for Obamacare, we thought we'd still be okay with our doctors. We are on it for five months. Our pediatrician for our children wouldn't take it. My doctor wouldn't take it. So we paid them $8,000 in five months, and we're never, never able to use it. Because of strict coverage regulations imposed by Obamacare, such as the birth control mandate, many insurance companies were forced to cancel plans liked by millions of customers. And according to the Federal Census Bureau, by 2017, over 28 million Americans were still uninsured. Working age adults between the ages of 18 and 64 are the most likely to forego health insurance. But with premiums more than doubling over the past few years for individual coverage, that's not exactly surprising. A study by the Heritage Foundation found the rise in costs were likely linked to the number of fees and taxes Obamacare hit insurance companies with. This, along with provisions that pass on costs from older customers to those who are relatively younger and healthier, have many people finding themselves priced out of the market. Now with the individual mandate gone, the Trump administration is hoping the courts will uphold a ruling which struck down the rest of the laws unconstitutional. While this legal battle plays out, President Trump says he plans to work with both Republicans and Democrats to fix the nation's broken health care system. However, he plans to hold off on making any big changes until after the election, provided he wins a second term. Kara McKinney, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.